Welcome back to another edition of Our City. A few things going around the city of Elizabeth this week. Just a reminder that City Hall will be closed on Wednesday, February 12th, in observance of President Abraham Lincoln's birthday. And on Wednesday, February 12th at 5 o'clock in the evening, I'm going to join the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce. They will have their annual, not annual, monthly business after hours networking event. This event is at Valenka Restaurant located at 665 Monroe Avenue. If you're interested in joining the chamber or you're a business member that is a member of the chamber, please come by and network with other businesses of our community. In addition, City Hall is also closed on Monday, February 17th in observance of President George Washington's birthday. If you need more information concerning this event about the chamber or any other events, please call our public information office at 908-820-4124. And this week's show, as I mentioned about the chamber, I'm pleased to be joined by the new executive director of the Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Jennifer Costa. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, all of my notes, Jennifer, have you as the director of the Elizabeth Destination Marketing, executive director of the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce. So you're wearing a lot of hats there. I dear. am. Tell us about that. I am. So thank you. So at present, I am president and CEO of the Greater Elizabeth uh, Chamber of Commerce, as well as overseeing the tourism initiative, which is the Elizabeth Destination Marketing Organization. So it's two separate entities that work very closely together, and I'm privileged to be able to serve at the board of directors' um, requests. But you've been, you've been here a while. Tell us, I mean, I uh, you know, tell us a little. Yep. You didn't just walk in yesterday. No, no. Uh, I've been a resident of Elizabeth since 2004, but had my family roots here for many, many years through our Portuguese community. Um, but more recently, the past five years, it's been a privilege to work with the Elizabeth Tourism Initiative, and that's building Elizabeth as a tourist destination. And we were founded by chamber members, so it's one way that we work hand in hand. And the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce um, Tell us about it. You're only the second director. Gordon I am. started 20 years. Tell us about it. Correct. This. So my predecessor, Gordon Haas, he was the founder of our chamber, of which it started with just a few small businesses. And now we've grown to over 430 companies, both large and small, everything from United Airlines and Avianca Airlines down to smaller mom and pop restaurants, different businesses, whether it's copy companies, IT, printing, you name it, we've got it in our network. And how do you manage it? You, you got to, this networking thing that I announced is one way to bring people together, correct. right? But you keep getting them information and there's ways that they can talk to each other, correct? Absolutely. So being a member of the chamber, you have an opportunity to network directly at our events or you have access to our member portal, which again consists of over 400 companies. So there's individual networking opportunities as well as you can receive referrals from our office because people are constantly calling us who's a preferred printer or who's a preferred IT company. Um, and that's just several, but everything from plumbing to carpeting, um, it's a wide spectrum of uh, organization we have. I think it's important to have a chamber in a community. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, especially for new businesses that want to explore opening their doors to our city. It's great to have a liaison, a consultant, somebody who knows everybody, and can, who can help you get answers. So it's the place where you kind of go to for all your business resources. Tell us about the different levels. You talked about big business and small business. Yeah. So talk about the different levels of the chamber. So we're excited as of this new year to also announce two additional levels. So I'll start out with those. First, we have a student professional level. That means that anyone who's currently enrolled at a university or a college can come and start to network with the business community. If they're 21 years and over, so they're ones that are going to be looking to graduate in the near future, they can already start to be at the forefront of our employers. It also provides great resources for the employers to have access to new skilled graduates or soon to be. The next level we have is our startup businesses. People that are aspiring entrepreneurs, they, they don't necessarily have their business doors 
open yet, but it's where we're guiding them and consulting with them to help them with everything on a marketing plan, a business plan, giving them access to people that have, to the banks that have loans, whether it's EDC or UC EDC, um, as well as to our different banks that are members. So we're working with them on uh, their grand opening or even before there, how do they apply for permits? Where do they go? So there's the student professional level and then there is a startup business level that's new this year to drive additional revenue for the chamber. And then we have um, anyone from zero to I believe it's 10 employees. Uh, there's different tiered levels of membership. But through that, we have, uh, again, the business networking opportunities marketing opportunities of different events that are going on, as well as referrals that you can receive from our office. And we're looking at growing that too. There's a new survey so, going around. Networking is huge, and, and that's probably the biggest advantage Absolutely. for signing up. Tell, tell us about how businesses have succeeded or what you think uh, the other advantages are besides networking as well. It, it's a phenomenal opportunity when, when we host our business after hours or one of our major events, it's a place where everyone comes together and everyone is approachable. Everyone from our elected officials, such as yourself and our city council, uh, members of our freeholder board, they come to our events. Um, but again, just the different and diverse business uh, professionals come in. And we have on average about 80 new faces each event. So it's not the same old stuffy group. It definitely gives an exciting array of our business community. I don't know who's part of that same old stuffy group. We're gonna have to check that we out. We don't have that. We don't have we that. Don't we don't have that at all, no. There's so many new faces. And again, just something to keep in mind for anybody considering to want to being a chamber member, everyone's approachable. We're here to be able to give guidance and resources and wear your chamber your way. So tell us about the um, boat ride that you have every year. It's a dinner cruise. I call it a boat ride. I probably should call it a dinner cruise. Are we having one this year? And tell us about so it. So we're in the process of revamping and looking at the way that we did run it in the past. Um, we are wanting to add a new flair, a new lively environment. Um, so it's something that's being brainstormed right now based on the feedback from our members and the surveys that have gone out, as well as the decisions of our executive committee. But it is something that we are striving for this year. Because we, we had it on that one vessel. Yes. That was absolutely delightful. Thank you. Then we went back to the other vessel. That's a struggle. We're working on polishing and elevating this experience for so everyone. So in most cases, we're probably going to have it then. Yes. All right, we're going to take a break. We're going to run some commercials and come back and talk more about the chamber and, and Edmo. Okay. Please stay with us after these messages. I'll be back with more with Jennifer Costa.
Just minutes from New York City. We are the gateway to the state of New Jersey. Experience Elizabeth. It all starts here. Just minutes from New York City, we are the gateway to the state of New Jersey. Experience Elizabeth, it all starts here. Just minutes from New York City, we are the gateway to the state of New Jersey. Experience Elizabeth, it all starts here. We're an American original, dependable, historic, nuanced, with all the comforts of home, even when you're just visiting. So we're celebrating for all that we've left untouched and all that we've changed, a place where the past meets the future. So consider this your invitation. We've been celebrating here in Elizabeth for 350 years, and we're just getting started. New Jersey is the cockpit of the revolution, and this was the center of the cockpit in many ways. Elizabeth became the center, really, of the skirmishing that went on during what we call the Forage Wars. Here in Elizabethtown, you will find that we were also, this was also the marketplace of the revolution. And Elizabethtown became a major jumping off spot for what we called the London trade. We would like to commemorate certainly uh, the brave men who lived and gave their lives to our quest for independence. I, can say it about the, the good people of Elizabethtown, uh, just as I did when I was out on Long Island and 
I will never forget this. Looking down from the Brooklyn Heights on, at the Jamaica Pass and seeing the brave men of the Maryland regiments fighting a rear guard action to allow the rest of our army to retreat. And they were surrounded and completely overwhelmed, but they would not give up their positions. And I watched them fall one by one. And I said, dear God, how many brave men must I lose before this business ends? I would certainly like to invite everyone to come to Elizabethtown and see where this war was fought. Uh, the war for your independence, for your liberties, and your freedoms. And remember that, as I say, if New Jersey was the cockpit of the revolution, Elizabethtown was right in the center of it. Just minutes from New York City, we are the gateway to the state of New Jersey. Experience Elizabeth. It all starts here. Welcome back to our city where I'm pleased to be joined by Ms. Jennifer Costa, who is the executive director and CEO of the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce and also the director of the Elizabeth Destination Marketing Organization. So Jennifer, one of the things the chamber is extremely versatile and important is working with other chambers. And there's a multi-chamber event that is held, I believe, annually in February. Tell us about this event in the past and how it has worked out and uh, what's usually the turnout of these events? Absolutely. So on average, there's roughly about 250 to 275 people that attend from a vast array of other chambers, such as the Union Chamber, the Edison Chamber, the Woodbridge, uh, Greater Westfield. And it's really an opportunity where our chamber network expands into each other so we can broaden our business perspectives and, and markets. So it's just a way to kind of get everybody at the table together. And where is this usually held? So this year it was at the Greater um, Galloping Hill Caterers in Union. On the uh, Five Points area. Correct. Right? That's where it's usually been. Yeah. They usually have both rooms there and they do some photographs and things. So the purpose of the event similar to what we do is just bringing together more chambers. That's what it's all about. Chamber is like a gym membership. You, you get out of it what you put into it. Now the other thing that's coming up is the Chamber of Commerce uh, train ride, which Correct. is held at the end of February. Yes. And but you're not going to be there this year. You have a vacation plan, right? I know, right? I they do. They scheduled it later. I Good for you. Do. Enjoy the vacation. Thank it's more you. important. Thank you. But tell us about the chamber ride and uh, how the Elizabeth Chamber participates. Absolutely. So it's in partnership with the New Jersey State Chamber, where it's one train car that starts out in the northern part or, or the Newark section, and it stops along the way, picking up other chamber members um, throughout the entire state, our elected officials as well. And it's just a key way to directly connect with legislators and know what's going on at the state. So our chamber is putting out the information, and anybody who would like to register can do so going through. Just be sure to indicate you want to be on that Elizabeth, New Jersey car. And we, we put people together, correct? Absolutely. So uh, the Elizabeth Destination Marketing Organization, we talked about, this, describe it and define it first before we talk about how you interact together. Yep. So the Elizabeth Destination Marketing Organization is simply a nonprofit marketing agency that promotes the city of Elizabeth. It promotes all of our amazing restaurants, our trending nightlife, our hotels, shopping. We truly have everything that any other destination, but now we have an agency, a marketing agency, that's telling our story. And they work closely with the Chamber. Absolutely. It's promoting all of our local restaurants and the businesses um, and different events that are happening in town as well. Our website drives thousands of new users every month, not to mention even our mobile app and the tablets of people looking for things to do. With our new partnership with the Port Authority, we have greater visibility inside Terminal 1, or Terminal A rather, as well as throughout all three terminals where the employees themselves have the Elizabeth mobile app, which is actually listed here, Go Elizabeth NJ. Everyone can download it for the uh, respective events. It's updated daily. Um, and so when somebody gets bumped from a flight or they have a layover, where do I go? What do I do? They're now finding us at the click of a button. 
And on, tell us about that app. What's on there? So on there, on there, absolutely. It's all of our restaurants, our affiliate partnering restaurants, all of our community events, everything from our parades, our flag raisings, um, any festivals that are happening in town. All of that is indicated, as well as any promotions of happy hour and, and discounts for our different restaurants. So... And, and can you tell how much usage you get? Absolutely. Just last month, we had over 1,700 uses, and that was just in one month. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely people are using it on a regular basis. We encourage our residents as well. If you're wanting to know what's going on in town, we partner closely with our city here and uh, in promoting everything that Elizabeth has to offer. So in the beginning, when we started this Edmo thing and the, and the hotels, I, I often joked with you about tourism in Elizabeth. We've been yeah. an urban community, still are an urban community, 130,000 people on 11 square miles, yet we are a historical community. And how can we highlight our history and bring tourism? You've done a remarkable job with it so far. Thank you. Because before you, there was no, nobody coming to Elizabeth for tourism. Now tell us the places they come and visit. Absolutely. So they are visiting the Library for Historical Archives on Named Genealogy. We get requests d monthly um, on where do I go about to find the history of my name. Um, they're also visiting the Snyder Academy, which is the place where Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr went to school, as well as it's the founding part for the state of New Jersey, established in 1664. They're visiting Boxwood Hall, the home of Elias Boutineau and Marquise de Lafayette. Uh, they're also visiting Liberty Hall. And uh, they're even doing our historical walking trail that goes throughout Midtown and select sections. And we're able to track that usage as well. It's interesting if Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr went to school at the same time, maybe they wouldn't. They were there at separate times. but. It's, and the Revolutionary Cemetery is right next to it. Absolutely. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in the state of New Jersey, and uh, we're offering tours there as well. Yeah, because there's a lot of research can be done there, too. Abs we're getting phone calls from across the country, especially when people are wanting to trace, where did my name come from? They're calling our office, and we're referring them to the library and the Snyder Academy um, for the actual grave markers. That's an interesting thing. Where did my name come from? And then they can trace it back to somebody in a revolutionary time. And it comes all back here to Elizabeth, where it started. Like that TV commercial, right? That's it. It, it all, all starts, starts here. here. That's our <laughs> slogan. So how do we reach out to potential visitors? Uh, the Jersey Gardens Mall, the, yeah. the kiosk, and... We get a tour bus, right? Comes from the airport if you got a layover? Yep, we have a direct shuttle if anybody has a layover coming from the airport P4 directly to the mall. Um, we also have tours from Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines that are doing excursions of shopping and our historical sites in Elizabeth. Um, so for any information, you can visit goelizabethnj.com as well as for our aspiring business entrepreneurs and, and businesses within our community that would like information on the chamber, theelizabethchamber.com. And Jennifer, what's next for Edmo? Where, where do you go? You got off to a great start. How do we continue the momentum and what's next? Absolutely. So we're continuing our promotions and daily trainings at the mall. I'm sorry, at the airport with the staff. Um, we're working on online digital campaigns as well as print advertising. And we're really working hard on trade shows and promoting Elizabeth to the tourism industry to get more groups. And not to mention trying to bring some great events back to Elizabeth. Especially getting the groups here because the hotel's got to love that, especially if they know in advance they're going to book 30, 40 rooms. Definitely. You can stay at half the cost here in Elizabeth in close proximity with easy access to New York City. So people need to connect hold of the Chamber of Commerce and or Edmo. Who do they call? Who do they email? How does that happen? 908-355-9797. 908-355-9797. Seventy-six hundred. Either one of those two numbers will be a direct link to our office, and we'd be more than happy to be of service. And Jennifer, the continuing the ongoing work that you're doing with the chamber, uh, with over four hundred businesses, how do we grow the chamber? Is there a way to get more businesses? Do we reach outside the area, the community? What do we do? We're right now working with one of our Kane University business interns at the graduate level, and we are marketing internationally to prospective countries, specifically in Latin America, to encourage businesses and let them know that we're here to be of service. So we're kind of outsourcing and thinking in a unique way outside the box to let the business community know that we're here with our doors open and hearts to welcome people to well, our Avianca city. Well, Airlines has been a great partner, Abs right? Yeah. yeah. 
Definitely. So, Definitely. Jennifer, I want to thank you for taking the time to join us on the show this evening. I wish you, you lots of luck with not only Edmo, but the Greater Elizabeth Chamber of Commerce and all the fine work you're doing. Thanks. Thank you so much. For Miss Jennifer Costa, I'm Chris Bolwage, and we'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.